been doing beading for a few years now, on and off, just as a hobby. So it was a natural progression, really. I've always liked silver. I always wear silver jewellery. So I just thought it's something I've always wanted to do, and I've had the opportunity to do it now. So here I am. <laughs> I've learnt the basic skills. Uh, soldering, uh, cutting, forming, uh, texturing. I got this Christmas. I had a lot of pleasure making Christmas presents for my sister, my daughter. A um, bit stressful, but that was great, and it was really appreciated. So that's the kind of thing I really want to do. Just, I just enjoy doing it. I'm on the advanced pottery course and um, the thing that most attracted me to this is I, um, we're, we're quite free to express ourselves with whatever we want to do. It's not a, um, a prescriptive course really, but uh, the tutors help us tremendously. I've learnt how to translate all sorts of ideas that I've had in the past into clay and see them through to develop the ideas and um, I've learned how to join and decorate things that I hadn't done before. Um, some students do want to progress further and take what they've learned on to uh, perhaps a vocational course or a foundation but there are opportunities for um, doing that and many students do I think do that. It's a combination of wanting to learn and to be amongst other people who are experts in the same field. You learn as much from the other students, in a way, as you learn from your instructor. I have done pottery for a very long time, uh, but uh, being here puts my skills, such as they are, into different expertise. So today we've been learning how to put two pots together. Now I might be able to make either of those pots, but I wouldn't, till today, have known the advanced technique of putting them together. It's mostly, in my case, for pleasure, and at my great age, as you get older, you want to try out what you know and see if you can still do it. Mm -hmm.